Coldplay, a British rock band from London formed in 1997 at University College London. The group consists of lead singer and pianist Chris Martin, guitarist Johnny Buckland, bassist Guy Berryman, and drummer Will Champion. Coldplay has sold over 100 million albums, won numerous awards, and is considered the most successful band in the 21st century. Coldplay's main key to success is due to them mastering the art of reinvention per album. After seeing them twice and buying not just one overpriced t-shirt, but two overpriced t-shirts, I've decided to embark on the daunting task to rank every Coldplay song, whether it be their albums, singles, and yes, even their Christmas song. Disclaimer. For the song with arrows in between, it means the first track it acts as an instrumental buildup into the actual song, therefore I treated it as one song. And remember, this is just my opinion, which is fact on this channel. Let's get after it. Number 148, Guns. Brosov attacks Americans for guns and gun violence. But what Chris and his London team don't understand is this is America, baby. We gonna rock guns and our it's our amendment. Right to bear arms, baby. USA, USA, USA. Back to back World War winners. Don't try on me. I rep this red, white, and true. Because wealthy white men trying to understand what it's like to be a minority. Oh no! Gringe! Repeat such a rush 40 times, the payoff isn't worth the build up. Forgettable. Cheesier than Chuck E. Cheese's cheese pizzas. Well, that's 4 minutes and 42 seconds of my life I'll never get back. I am cured. Didn't do anything for me. Ah ah, Kilote, why Martin make bad juju song? Artistic yet mid. I like how Ocean compares Chris's loss to his ship alone at sea. Bro, look at my Google Docs. They made it look like manga. Also, it's a flop. You heard it. I swear, he'll be back any minute with the milk from the store. We're part of a X is why this song is all over the place. Mid. Too short, never developed into anything. To become sad. Mid. Tony was. Chris talks about his now deceased childhood friend Tony, but there's no real storytelling, and the lyrics are simpler than a Coco Melon nursery rhyme. Quintessential college band rock song. One, two, three, Will. Big ups for Will Champion's intro. Guitar carries. The breakdown in the middle is cool, but besides that, eh. Perfect quarantine song. Quote, with the windows all closed, I'll be doing my best and I'll see you soon. Peace, love, and pure boredom. Overrated. And to all my people disagreeing. Yo, get off that nigga dick, bro. What is you doing? What? No, I, you're right. I was dick riding. That's what I'm saying, bro. You got to calm down with that shit. Yeah, my fault. My fault. Random Arabic desert Prince of Persian verse. Day and night. Kid Cudi perfected this, so this is how I feel about the cover. <laughs> Spacey, no vocals. Piano instrumental. My back's Coplay confirmed Christianity. Also, I fell asleep to the song. <laughs> Islamic saxophone. <laughs> Government FBI stalker vibes. Cover your cameras. <laughs> Someday a girl gonna be like this for me. One day, we gon' make it one day. Out under the purple sky. The Pretenders killed it on the original. I feel the woman's vocals are necessary to get the full emotion expression out of this track. <laughs> Spiritual chants begin this track. The intro serves to introduce a basic narrative of a ghost stories from a man's perspective of a woman who he loved and ended up leaving. <laughs> Twisted Logic is a slow burn. The message is to protect planet Earth, and it ends with a good rock outro. The 
funny friend after they get home from school be like? <laughs> the falsetto is serene. <laughs> Maracas, cute little track. You were an island. To promote anti Hoodville propaganda, City Boys Down, Sad Nibba Hours. Homo sapiens with our silly little bestial tendencies and impulsive instincts. Apparently, this is one of Coldplay's favorite tracks. <laughs> the way grown ass men be playing with dolls. No kinds. What you would imagine a Coldplay Christmas song would sound like. And in the day. Short and sweet. Speaks in metaphors of heavy emotions. When he says burn the house, he's referring to starting over. Storytelling and lyrics are thought-provoking, but the song as a whole didn't interest me personally. Post-apocalyptic ambiance. Chris talks about needing true love and reliance. Basic relationship communication is the answer type deal. It's out and it's out and OCD college rock song with good vocals. <laughs> Fun fact. Atlas, the Greek god of astronomy and navigation, carries the world on his shoulder. You're welcome next time you're flirting with some girl who likes Hunger Games soundtracks. It's I. Right. Persian piano poetry. Well, nothing. Simple acoustic guitar. Will champion lead vocals? Noise. Absolutely raw dog, this dry demo of vocals and acoustic guitar. I like the Chris and Will on the chorus and the outro. That is all. God, dude. Right. Pink Floyd, Wish You Were Here reference is dope. The first stage of grief, denial. Everyone hurts, everyone cries. The message is everyone is different, but we are all part of the same family. The problem I have with the song is that Coldplay thrives off very simple lyrics and beautiful instrumentals. The message is very complicated and it can't pertain to everyone based on their simple lyrics here. I wanna be bigger, stronger, driver, faster. Sounds like my ambition when I hit the gym. Yeah. A country rock song made for hick, green eyed gals. Aside from all the men. Hunoraheya, Nikate Iru, Kodomo Tachi, Ni Shokoji, O Ed Ete, Tu Iwa Rete Imasu. An instrument overload. A slow orchestra instrumental. I like the violin strings. 2010 World Cup vibes. It's gone. Gives off remorseful betrayal. Like me going to sleep at night before the test and then trying to remember the equations, but remembered I chose sleep over study. If I Call him. Because bro want to be a bird so badly. Oh, my head explode. Classic rock mixed with an open atmosphere grasp that present day Coldplay resonates with. And rusting in a rubble. A piano ballad. I imagine this is what my sheep are counting when they fall asleep. I'll be around, I'll be loving you. Pretty little interlude. <laughs> Ooh, uh, uh. Does it for me. Reminds me of the regular show episode where the space people Gary and David have a synth war. Sisters, you know. So 90s. Their debut single to Fierce Panda Records. A good start to the beginning of a legendary career. The beat goes stupid. But the lyrics are so basic it can make a vat of acid neutral. The vocal tone range is pleasant on the ears and the electric guitar is a nice buzz. Who put Brooks on the keys? Banks Brew type beat. Undertone bass gives the track a groovy vibe. Subject matter pertains to a chanting about getting back to olden life. About aka the refugees and the Syrian war as a whole. To me. Gives off Thorfinn, I have no enemies vibes. Holy. A Kia version of the Halo theme. 
mixed with Skyrim chants, blended into Christian monastery church music. What if they're helpful to an uplifting song? Your guitar and synthesizer go berserk towards the end. Oh, morning cold like butter. James Bond. James Bond. I cry, cry. What I'm doing because everyday life is an awful album. Listening to everyday life is excruciating torture, where there's only a decent track every nine minutes. You, you, you are ah, yes, the invasion of the K pop people, pop rock plaza. Is cool, but not for me. Okay. When I'm broken. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Sweet baby Jesus, the Lord has inspired these co players. They have brought the gospel to him. Man, I say to you, my brothers and sisters. First shift to a 7 fourth time signature. Very complex wind chime sound effect song. What if they can't tell if I should love this song or absolutely hate this song. <laughs> Chorus bangs. It wants me to leave my window curtains open before I go to bed. Union guys, the bourgeoisie must rise, the middle class must overthrow the government, BlackRock and Vanguard. Oh my- Rest in peace, Johnny Cash. Entry energy on the song was meant for him on the ballad about his death coming to claim a man at the end of his life. Entering the fourth plane of existence past the Black Nebula. <laughs> oh walked in order for Kings of Leon, use somebody to run. At the two minute point where the crystal wine glasses for percussion sounded like God's angel harps in my earphones. Amazing. <laughs> lyrics, bridge goes brazy. <laughs> Introducing a slow piano medley and vocal samples into a faster tempo. With the birds represents a grandiose salute to the album's story. <laughs> Low key feels like a slice of life anime intro. Appreciate everything, expect nothing. Low start, and then the middle comes in with a raspy echo into smooth jazz. You is a spacey, chilling track that foreshadows Coldplay's third studio album, X and Y. First read the title of this track, I thought, ha! Gay! But in reality, it's just a rock and roll bone crunching guitar rift. Extremely unique, nothing to do with Japan. The old honky tonk piano harpsichord. Disgustingly optimistic. Silver spoon looking boy. Oh, just like Mainstream rubbish. We've all heard this. Let's move on. A slow jam with metaphors of irony of wanting to change the world for the better, yet everything remains the same. Choice of living a simple and peaceful life of happiness away from the chaos of the world. What's the hardest Thematically baby version of the scientist. Trying hard to speak. <clears throat> Bars! X and Y discusses Chris's attempt to comfort his wife after the loss of her father. <laughs> Spooky spirits. <laughs> the Echo Android autotune backed voice. Bon Iver copycat. Plucking chords of the synth. Refrain goes stupid like a laser show. <laughs> EDM vocal chop. Think about for this song is it would be crazy if you were high at night with LED lights set to smooth transition in your bedroom. Put up here due to the creativity of the music video. The metaphor and illusion overload. Is it for Dudin's Atari's book? For a prize of peace. Conceptually, the album is giving the win to the rebels versus the government. The drum slash heartbeat for the intro and outro. Also, the outro phases out, which is a nice touch. The lyrics are unnecessary. Banger techno Indian vs. American Revolution or the British are coming instrumental. <laughs> Intro to A Rush of Blood to the Head, written shortly after the 9-11 attacks as a reflection on the current state of affairs in the world. Very underrated. The song progressively gets better as time passes, similar to Breaking Bad. <laughs> Admit it epic. During a multi-sweet spaceship voyage through the cosmos, it gives me Dark Side of the Moon vibes. The same song they made too, they gone good. Jay-Z doing normal Jay-Z things. African tribal Jimbe style perseverance ritual prayer. It's taking your place. Victory lap between Chris and Tove Lo is immaculate. That gravity pull. Piano, acoustic guitar, drums, spacey background synths, multi-layered vocals, a classic 2005 Coldplay song. 
a hidden gem. Hidden gem. Everyone hurts. Piano match with echo, high piercing water drop pitches. Very emotional track filled with memory and loss. <laughs> Intro is dope with the electric guitar and I like the falsetto backed vocals. Recurring melodic hook elevates talk. The outro connecting the electric guitars and the synthesizers sound like a, a chill robotic society. <laughs> Low dance song. Speaking from an alien society where the solar system banned music, so hearing the music is whack. Song slaps. Call it true. Love at first sight. Infatuation. Cool drum beat and I like the chorus. Humankind is basically me not trying to fall in love for the Starbucks barista again. Meaningful song writing exhibit A. Tale of mental illness and a last cry for help before committing suicide. He feels as if no one cares about him since he's physically healthy. He's screaming underneath, afraid to admit, and the you came along and cut me loose part at the end is about someone coming at the last minute to talk him off the edge and saving his life. Donna and Chris Martin's voice complement beautifully. It's a milestone track since this is technically Coldplay's first feature. Technically a gorgeous track with all the voices interweaving and spreading love. Art is about how humans have a tendency to conceal their emotions and act stronger than they are. Although the universe appears vast and complicated, people are capable of making mistakes. No matter how someone identifies, the human heart can easily break. People all have flaws and it's these flaws that makes us human. Parachute's intro version is so much better than the Blue Room version. Mellow, yet powerful. The guitar chords are haunting. Song that truly embodies the name, Coldplay. <laughs> guitar pucks come in and out between surreal lyrics of rejection while Martin stands waiting and would change everything for the pursuit of this unknown woman. Low-key stalker vibes. <laughs> the album cover and the track matches perfectly. Colorful, vibrant, psychedelic, eccentric bliss. All I know. Silky sonic beat. Strongest pre-workout is heartbreak. Brother needs to hit the gym. Wowza! This and Selena duet of sorrow and letting a loved one move on. Sounds beautiful and like the reverb echo piano at the end is the cherry on top. Power. Astronaut space synths, extraterrestrial sirens, and waves of photons jumping into hyperdrive. The kick drum 111 leading the quick verses into the higher power chorus with backing synths. It sounds stellar. The keyboards go crazy. Paradise. Stunning. A female perspective of being lost in the world and living in a false reality. The boys came in clutch with this one. The highlights of the track are the jittery synths, the orchestral hooks, the thunderous drumming, and the falsetto vocals. Very 2000s. Alt pop. I love it. It's a banger. It sounds like a Wizard 101 team up battle against Malastare. <laughs> Your hype. The drumming is amazing. The refrain bass hooks are crazy. The distorted and high hitting guitars are crazy. And I love the 1984 8 bit synths. I believe this is one of Chris Martin's best vocal performances. The song talks about riveting you through damnation and back and talks about the oppression of government, rebellion, and love. And all around. Chang Gang defeat all demons. The outro to Parachutes. The wrap up message for Parachutes is to think that everything is terrible, yet you keep living. While in reality, our lives are actually pretty great. <laughs> Vocals are pure hype. In My Place expresses the unchangeable characteristics in all humans and warns listeners from letting these flaws detract from relationships with your loved ones. It fits the album perfectly. In particular, he asks his significant other to understand him and his current mental state of being lost. Turn your magic on. Dynamic drums, the transition from multi-layered vocals to a straight falsetto from the verse to the chorus really drives the song home for me. Smooth like butter instrumental into the bridge glues the pieces of speed of sound together. A spider web is tangled up with me. Certified classic. Piano and the matching riff chords instrumental interweave with the spider web story verses of behaving badly towards someone you love. Absolute masterpiece. 10 out of 10. Goosebumps. Words can't describe it. So...
goaded. Beyonce and Chris Martin looking like Scottie Pippen and Jordan. Both the remix and the original are goaded. Back to back W's. Jordan 96 97. Drinks on me. Winner only. A club exclusive. End all be all. GG. Your energy. Pure wave of uplifting positivity. The finale of the electric guitar and the jingling guitar breakdown is beautiful. My mood elevates anytime someone plays this song. Nostalgia. Existential piano melody with Chris Martin's falsetto faces a paradox. Humanity's obsession with time versus a desire to savor every moment as if it were your last. This is a song you definitely won't hear in a minute, but when you do, it feels like magic every time. Peak. Oh. Viva La Vida inspired the best Minecraft parody song, no questions about it. It represents the essential rock song of the 2000s. Led by an orchestral drum beat, strings, and piano, it tells a story of a monarch who has lost his kingdom. This is a direct parallel to the French revolutions with the biblical references of Jerusalem's bells backed by actual bells. Long live the king, baby. Come up to me. The emotional analysis of a broken relationship. The piano ages like fine wine here. Chorus illustrates when two lovers break it off and look back to why it ended. However, there is no quantitative assessment to measure love because it's not a science and progress does not develop from any intellectual breakthrough. Therefore, logic should be thrown to the wind. Till I drive you away. Sparks makes me want to cry until I have no tears left to cry. A bittersweet ending to a chapter of your life. Acoustic love song pertains to a person who tries to get someone to remember them again. Came about their relationship and how he saw sparks of love when they were together. A life-changing experience. Wonderfully produced, upbeat, happy, and makes you want to get up, jump, and dance. Word on the street is Avicii primarily produced this track. The starry night sky is a metaphor for the beauty of this girl he loves, while the starlight also represents a guiding presence, lighting up a path to his happiness. Unrequited love put into the form of a song. Yellow's name comes from Coldplay's description of its composition. Brightness, hope, and devotion. Vocals are peak, with the narrator absolutely mesmerized by the actions of this person which has become the center fixture in light of their universe. There is a light in the world due to their existence. This will always be my favorite Coldplay song. I personally bonded over this song with my dad, so it has a special place in my heart.